Hello. I'm taking an epic training course for a ch child, um, children that have trauma. So um, in the training, I, I went into indirect connection. Um, what that means, um, A, trust, uh, say yes, try to make yes your first response whenever possible, B, self-worth, be fascinated, reflect their preciousness, improving self-worth in a child is what helps improve how they define themselves. C, self-efficiency, this is what your child believes about his or herself, allow your child to find his or her voice in productive ways. D, be the safe place, starts with self-care so you can sit in their pain and validate their feelings. E, behavioral matching, be fu fully present with your child, match his or her body language and emotions. Symbolic touch, this communicates safety and presence. These are things that you can do um, for direct, um, in indirect connection with a child. Uh, so those are indirect connections and then direct connection strategies is like touch, chin prompt, hand on shoulder, holding hand, symbolic touch, eye contact changes, brain chemistry. I love seeing your eyes. Are those eyes orange? Um, voice quality, total voice control, uh, and then playful interaction, playing games, not being afraid to be silly, using imaginative play, um, play disarms fear. Um, so these are like things that you can do uh, to help a child um, or a teenager. Uh, there's so much information that I got today and I, I, I want to be honest, I, it, ha it had me thinking about my own upbringing and um, the things, the trauma that I've gone through in my past and how they shape my adulthood. A lot of the things that happen to you in your um, young age, you uh, they said something about how you're if you're 47 you're probably emotional your emotional intelligence is probably like half your age which is 27 so um a lot of stuff like clicked for me and i feel like there's a lot of things that uh if if i'm learning how, how to to help other children that have had trauma this is helping me figure out the things that i went through that i can help myself to grow and to learn and to be better and uh I encourage anybody that it is uh, that wants to do more for the next generation to give back. Um, I I would highly recommend going to a child care uh, class or something like Epic Training to help you realize what those you know children that have had um, trauma in their lives, uh, or to just to see you know uh, why they act a certain way you know, what did they go through and how to help them be become better people in the future. Uh, this is a really great thing. Um, I have prayed a lot to have God help me to figure out what my next thing should be, what my next step should be, what I should do to help other people. And he's put on my heart to help children and, um, and uh, this training is something that fell in my lap from volunteering in um, the four kids um, community that I have at my church. I started uh, volunteering there to um, the kids night out where the foster parents come to meet and talk about stuff about, you know, what their lives are at home. And then they leave the children with us, with the volunteers. And um, we play with them. We give them um things to do in class and stuff like that and we watch them and hang out with them we go to the playground with them while the parents are getting you know what they need uh, you know they're they get their their fill in um they speak about god's word and they and they talk about their their problems or whatever they're going through um and i think it's a great program uh, I don't have any children as well, so this is something that I was thinking maybe I wanted to foster a child. Uh, my husband is not in the same place as I am. He doesn't want to, but I feel like just by volunteering, I'm ha I'm helping that child. I'm helping some. I'm doing something purposeful, something good, and um, you know, the more people uh, that I help, the better. And um, it also made me think about my nephews and. Um, how I want to be there for them more. I want to impart wisdom. I want to be an example, a Christian example for them, letting them know that um, we are all sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. I am not perfect. And 
Um, I don't expect them to be perfect and I want them to be able to come to me if they need anything, any words of encouragement or um, if, if uh, any direction that they need. And, you know, I haven't been as present as I want and uh, I need to change that. I need to um, be a better aunt and um, communicate with them more about uh, stuff so that they they feel that unconditional love coming from me so that they are, don't feel like um, oh she she talks the talk but she doesn't walk the walk type of thing anyway that is my two cents I, I hope this video was helpful to you in some way if it was leave me a comment uh, I love you all and goodbye